Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Uh, this weekend is the release weekend of the English variant of the Pokemon Go set, the special set. And we have here uh, a product that I'm really hyped about. Uh, this is the only product of the English Pokemon Go set that is in my opinion worth opening for. Um, let me just show you in a second. But again, I'm not touching any other set, uh, or any other product I mean of this set, uh, why, you know, I like Eevee myself, but the most of the cards in the set are not worth opening for, in my opinion, you're just better off buying them a single, but uh, I think the packaging is on point as well with the, the in-game <laughs> theme, you know, for the Pokemon Go app, yeah, super nice. Got a pin badge, a playmat, uh, a nice Radiant EV card that is actually removed from the set to be uh, included in this product. Again, nice stuff. And got, I think, eight packs of Pokemon Go. Luckily, no other regular sets in here, unlike Evolutions or Celebrations. I mean, sorry. Let's open it. go yes there's something I've been uh, patiently waiting for let's open you right away is gorgeous and uh, if I'm not mistaken the playmat is also designed by uh, So Ichiro Gunjima and uh, that also designed this uh, Radiant Eevee promo card which I'm going to show you in just a second This is beautiful. I haven't received my Japanese uh, version yet. I've uh, ordered that, but it's not yet arrived. I'm sure it will be much nicer, but just um, would you look at that? Nice card. Let's give you a sleeve. There you go, along with a very nice EV play mat. And uh, we'll open uh, the eight packs. But first, the pin, the pin, yes. You deserve a close up as well. A nice, shiny EV pin. Nice quality, as always, most of the time. Double pin as well. And then we have eight boost packs of Pokemon Go. This is the first time of opening my uh, the English version of Pokemon Go. And uh, I don't have any hope for it. The pull rates aren't that great from what I've seen uh, on uh, the ultra rares. We'll just see. I, again, I hope I can get the Mewtwo of any kind. Uh, I would be very happy. We are already getting greeted by a nice Bulbasaur with a so so uh, artwork. Nice card and a tranquil. An 
a Lord and Radicate and a Numel is not the, the Detto card. We have a nice EV, Yuko there, and the reverse Charmander. And the Charizard, would you look at that? A very nice Charizard. I'm uh, getting rich. <laughs> I'm just a little bit disappointed um, that uh, the energies are not um, Merlfoil guaranteed, just like the Japanese version has. And now we have Jupiter. If, we, if I can get a uh, Mewtwo, it would be very nice. Rained EV again is not in the set. Oh yes, I need this Bidoof as well. The boost pack feels a little bit more papery, a little bit more matte, which is uh, quite strange. But uh, yes, this uh, Kumiya, Tomokazu Kumiya Bidoof, very cool card. Again, not the Ditto version. A nice so so Squirtle with a nice so so Bulbasaur. And the Pidoff. Again, you know, I, I like the regular arts better than the Ultra Rares themselves. And that's what a lot of people share uh, as well, this, that opinion. With uh, Kurumitsu War Turtle, which is very cool. And the Blastoise. Oh, that's, that's two times in a row we have an evolution line. That is rather nice. Pokestop, Ivysaur and a Lunatone. Can we get Venusaur with a reverse uh, Bulbasaur or Ivysaur? But uh, yeah, um, again, I would have preferred, would have preferred a, uh, another special art why not another special Dragonite V? And that's a nice mirror uh, reverse holo. And the Gyarados, the Moltres. And there's some of centering there, but. Oh well. That was pack number three. We have uh, five to go. What will we get? And I think this set is really the flavor of the month, literally. I think uh, in August. I think uh, not many people will uh, try to open the set. Oh, reverse Blastoise and the Moltres. Hollow to Master Reverse. A spark and a Chansey. Very cute looking. But uh, what do you think about uh, what do you think of this set in general? Because again, I am literally opening this set because this product, the Radiant EV. Premium collection. Oh, that's a very nice pull of red candy holo. And then uh, selecting V. Yeah, that's what I mean, you know. <laughs> it's a cool set. But uh, you have uh, stuff like this. Again, it's on theme. I, I get it. With Pokemon Go, just not my stuff. Not my kind of thing. Will we get a Ditto at least? No, we don't. We have a regular Bidoof again. A, uh, a nice Squirtle again. Oh yes, Pikachu. They're very nice. Wimpot. Lorona Ratata and a, a non-Ditto Bidoof. But, ah, no! I literally pulled this last week in Japanese. Are you serious? <laughs> this set is really cursed. Oh my god. It is really cursed. 
at least I got um, a, no a full art. Yeah, with uh, two packs left. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, that's not a Mewtwo. Or a Dragonite, for that matter. What a cursed set. And I, I heard the tattoo again, it was really, really difficult to pull. Yeah, Wimpot and the Melmetal, sorry, not, uh, not that great. <sighs> I want the cover star. I really do like this um, art track by uh, Kiyotaka Oshiyama. Very nice style. But will we get anything exciting regarding the ultra rares that is or radiant charizard or something like that we do get the reverse holo charizard that is something quite spot well that's uh, a lot of fun in, uh, in the product However, I got this story cards. You don't. You are not exciting. You are not important. This is important to me, and um, this as well. Happy Pokemon Go uh, opening, everyone! And uh, again, I hope you enjoyed you enjoyed this video, regardless. Uh, and you, know, you you can hear I'm not that exciting because it's not, in my opinion, yes, an exciting set. Uh, lacks, lacks a little bit of potential in my opinion um, yeah I got my reading TV and uh, I wish you a very nice day bye